Hello YouTube. I hope everybody's doing great. And I have an update and uh, yeah, some updates. Um, this is my SMD real spool holder. And um, I finally came up with, let me put it further here. Uh, I came up with something that I like. And as you can see, I put a aluminum flat aluminum profile on top of the 2020 profile. Screwed it down left and right. And <laughs> my finger doesn't go where, where I think it's gonna go. And um, now I can just pull on the parts. Did I screw this down? Eh. Uh, anyway, I can pull on the different strings and uh, cut them and they don't go anywhere because I did print a piece of um, 3D printed part here and it has the channels for the... I think this is a little bit thicker, the 100 nano. These are 0.8 millimeters and I think I made the... The legs here one millimeter but I think this is thicker that's why it's I didn't even notice that's why it doesn't want to move easily at least that's what I think it is um, anyway I did print this I print six of them and I put it underneath the, I glued it with double-sided tape underneath the profile here and then screwed down the profile and I did print some labels with my uh, laser printer Actually, I do love my laser printer because I'm printing all my shipping labels with it and uh, print out schematics, PCBs and whatnot. And it is very, very useful. I never thought that a printer would be that useful to me. Anyway, here you can see 100 nano, 10 nano, 22 pico, 22k, 10, 4, 7 and so on. 1k as you see is still missing because I, the last one I bought, I bought 100 pieces. And I have to buy a whole reel for it. So anyway, this is my update and I think this looks good. And I could even technically use this for my uh, PNP machine that still is not finished. Actually, it's almost finished. I just didn't wire it up and um, I just don't get around to it. Anyway, so this is my latest update. If you have any questions about this, please let me know in the comments. I will gladly answer them. And that's how it looks like on the top. And at least I found two 90 degree, nay, 45 degree um, <clears throat> angles and put those on the top. At least it doesn't look that ugly. The other ones you can technically not see the square ones and the cube ones. So. That's how it is. And now let me switch to one time magnification and take this thing away. <coughs> Sorry, I have a sore throat. Okay, what is new here? I finally did receive the <coughs> very sorry finally received acrylic pieces for my v2 v2 v twin engine uh, gadget keychain and this is the using the sam d21 module here but it's not as fast as i thought it will be and so I might recreate this um, with an ESP32. Uh, Adam, I'm getting ready for your order to ship it out. Um, I know you always bear with me, but uh, if I have to wait, uh, obviously my customers have to wait. <coughs> but anyway, I think it looks nice you seen my V8 engine before with the piston animation same here 
and this is actually my newest board here based on the ESP32 and it has a navigation switch not used in this code this code is just uh, my ever favorite matrix screensaver code although I want to change the font to a Japanese font because that's just a regular font and it also has an LDR for dimming of the display uh, it's hardly visible here but it does dim and um, USB type C obviously also USB 0 chip on here so you can just plug it in and upload whatever code you want and this will also be uh, turned into a woo meter I'm just waiting on the microphones <coughs> This is my OLED gate. I have shown it many, many times before. And um, it has four games. My favorite one is Pac Man, of course. We let that, you can hear it, let it run by itself for a while after it goes into demo mode. And these are my uh, 20 by 20 matrix clocks this one is vertical this one is horizontal obviously and um, I finally designed and 3 printed 3d printed a case for the bigger matrix clocks I will also make a shorter one for the double here because it's slightly too big for this case here as you can see on the bottom it's wiggling Actually, this is now getting annoying. Turn it off. There's the turn off switch. So I did design a case for the clocks and um, it came out actually really nice. I like it. And um, I also wanted to show you a tool. Maybe many people will know it. Maybe some won't. This is actually a scraper tool <coughs> which has a rotating head. And you can just go ahead if you have any, um, like the they called elephant foot. Because if I print this with just a brim, there is a small edge here, and then you can take this and just peel off the edge, and you can see how fine it does work. So you can find these on. Uh, eBay, the usual suspects, eBay, AliExpress, or whatnot. Um, pretty inexpensive, I think, like four or five dollars. And uh, but very, very useful to because if you want to do this with a knife to clean the edge, uh, you surely will go some too deep or not deep enough or whatever. With this, it just perfectly works. I do it uh, here's a small edge, still feelable, feelable. Is that a word? No. But you just go like this. And this is the result. So, and actually, um, this works on metal also. You can use it on, I don't know, probably won't uh, work for steel, but it does work on aluminum. So if you have any aluminum profiles that you cut off or whatever, like this, and you can go on the edge and... Uh, Take the burr out is actually maybe even called the burring tool I'm not sure what it's called but that's what it's used for but it works on 3d printed parts as well that was that and um, what else wanted to oh okay this is Peter I'm slowly assembling the some of the PCBs and I did find the dip switches. I had to order them actually twice. The first one didn't arrive, so the second one's arrived. And uh, how uh, passant, um, how good it fits on here because it's blue as well. And I did all solder the pins and I did solder the resistors somehow. And I also soldered some 3mm LEDs on the bottom here. And somehow, maybe I said it before, <laughs> uh, they use the smaller uh, resistors here. 
these are the regular uh, I think uh, quarter watt resistors and they're about eight millimeters or nine millimeters wide uh, wide and these were too big for to do it here and you could do it standing up but I didn't want to and it I did find some resistors that are slightly smaller oh, actually about the half size so I did order 10 of these just to put them on here so it will fit and look good I only had two of these small ones so otherwise I would have to use them anyway those things are tiny even hardly be able to see on camera but this is it so that was that and Peter I I cannot thank you enough this flashlight is has become my favorite flashlight and um, I usually have the regular suspects EDC flashlights and um, I've seen these before with the 90 degree head and uh, never thought that it would be useful but it is useful it is actually very useful this has a magnetic base and um, I mean you can just turn it wherever you want to a little bit brighter and um, you can do things with it that you can't do with a regular flashlight such as putting it on a table and having uh, shine somewhere this one is mostly too low and uh, okay this one doesn't roll away but some of them do and um, anyway I really like this and I did fix the base um, um, there was a pin sticking out here I don't know if this base although it's all light it's the same company as the flashlight but it was sticking out too much and when I put the flashlight on here it was wiggling and not standing and not making contact on the outer ring so I just put a small spring in here I knew I had pogo pins salvaged from cell phones that were like four or five millimeter high and those would have been perfect to put in here but uh, I probably threw them out I don't know why but I cannot find them anymore so I did just use a spring and now I can put it on here and charge it and um, that made a lot of noise didn't it but and it's still it's I mean it's still okay it, it holds pretty pretty good on here and also you know, on steel or whatever if you want to use it in your car or whatever so this really turned out into my favorite flashlight it did have um, um, what do you call belt uh, clip on here and I never liked those belt clips and I took it off and then there was this indentation and I had this rubber band here and it just fit perfectly in here so I just put it on there and uh, I did clean up some of the edges not not final clean up because they were a little banged up but um, obviously it doesn't do any harm to the flashlight so if you ever thought why would I use a flashlight like this you won't know the difference or you won't know the advantages till you actually have one so that was that and um, I think this was it if anybody is interested in the 3d print uh, in the STL file let me know uh, I might then put it up on my uh, Thingiverse account so you can download and use it uh, this is obviously the output for my for my PCB for the Type-C connector. I can show it on here. So here I have my Type-C connector. And it also has an LDR sensor in here. And it does of course work through this uh, transparent uh, filament. 
and I put some spacers in here to give it some height because of the RTC module that I have behind my PCB and uh, I think it came out great it's just basic square although it has that um, 45 degree edge uh, corners here maybe you will be able to see it or make it out on the video so it's not just square it's uh, at a 45 angle uh, degree angle and pretty tight fit it does come out of course if you want to but it doesn't even wiggle so if you're interested let me know um, I will probably put those up for sale as well I know one viewer of mine uh, Philip that's for you he is interested in the red one and but the red one is mine I have it in green uh, if he wants it in red I will get I have uh, red ones on order and um, uh, Peter for you you showed interest in the Oladicate and some others uh, this will not have another enclosure this is with acrylic front and back everything with acrylic front and back will be like this i will not print anything around it because then i need to change the sizes of the pcb or the acrylic uh, these are built like this um, and you showed interest in the uh, double version in the horizontal vertical one <laughs> like this one uh, that one will get a 3d printed case as well and i think this is it um oh i wanted to show you also my um, trusted and proven bootloader burner that i finished for a customer of mine and um, i am now also putting feet on the bottom of this just to elevate it from the table and maybe you want to even use it like this uh, put your chip in here click reset and the bootloader gets uploaded and you will get confirmation on the OLED LED and the buzzer if you like and um, this is the IPS header I ISP header which you also have here as a six pin regular standard and this will go out uh, tomorrow and i think this was it um i want to thank all my supporters again and um thank you it does help every little support uh, be it as patreon although i only have nine uh, or on my Banggood affiliate link uh, it does help thanks a lot and I wish everybody a great week take care everybody